Hey guys, it's me, Jay Stone, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, it's going to be a quick tutorial on how to turn your photos into artwork slash paintings or illustrations. So quick backstory about how and why I came up with this concept. So I've been in advertising marketing for about 25 years. And one of the things that we learned early on is kind of the origin of modern day advertising, which started probably back in the 50s. If you ever watched the show Mad Men or Mad TV, well, Mad Men. Um, and they talked about... Um, all the advertising. So advertising back in the day, they would spend months getting the perfect image. Um, and they would take black and white photos and then paint them as illustrations with all the color and the cheeks and things like that. And so uh, all the artwork back then were just really high end, high definition illustrations. Um, and it became beautiful timeless artwork and the artwork became really, really expensive. And so I've always liked that look. And so I was always looking for ways to do it. The thing about it is if you a person who might have some, uh, you know, different shade of hair for me, it's gray hair. Uh, if you might have brown skin or melanin in your skin, you can't always get the illustrations to give you the right striations and the right, you know, markings. Right. So I was very excited to find that Canva did this. Um, for us. So, so, so let me jump into the tutorial and teach you about this, how this works. Okay. So I've already started with just a blank design. Well, not a blank design, just a um, template that's already traditional inside of Canva. And one of my photos that I really, really like. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is remove the background from the image because I don't want the image to want to spend a whole lot of time um, illustrating the entire background because this background on this image is pretty busy. So I just click edit image and hit the background remover. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. And while that's waiting up, oh, it's done. Okay. And so this is where we're going to start with the image. I'm just going to kind of make the image square. Okay. I'm going to hit the apply button to make sure that that's taken. Okay, and the next thing we're gonna do is go right back to the edit image option, right? So I'm gonna click edit image. Okay, and you're gonna scroll down and as you scroll down past the filters and tools, you'll start to see other installed applications that you might have, tools that you might have. I wanna scroll down until you get to the ones that have not been installed. And it says you may also like. What we're going to look for is the Prisma, P-R-I-S-M-A, and it's got this little icon right here, the little rounded triangle. I'm gonna hit that one. And it says, turns photos into paintings. This is what we want, okay? Um, and it says that it uses artificial intelligence to give you an artistic look. So I'm gonna put um, use, and it's going to start to connect, and it gives you the options right here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven presets that you can choose, right? The Camelcade is one of them, and it just turns your artwork right there, right? And this one kind of gives you like, you know, the um, mosaic look, right? You've got another one that does something similar. The pattern one does something similar. So I'm just going to show you a couple of these and then you can kind of play around with them. All right. Lizard is actually one of my favorites that I like uh, because it gives you a very realistic look. But my actual favorite is Snowfall. And that's because I've got silver hair and it does some really cool stuff to the silver hair. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the snowfall and apply. Okay, and so I'm gonna make this bigger. Now you see what it also did was because it did, wasn't sure what to do with that background, it went ahead and uh, put a black background on it, right? I'm sorry, did I hit apply? Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit image and I'm gonna remove the background again. And the reason why I did it the first time was because I did not want the image to spend a lot of time trying to illustrate the background, right? Now I've got to remove the background so that it's clean, right? And it sits on top of the design that I'm creating, which is now here. So if you look at this, right? And, um, and what I like is that it gave it kind of the bluish purple hues uh, with, um, with uh, my hair, 
I'm going to click apply. And as you can see, my teeth kind of look weird. I'm okay with that. I'm not trying to make it look perfect. The next thing I think that it's important to do is, okay, when well, go ahead and click edit image one more time. And I'm going to click adjust, right? Because here's where I really can, can make this custom my own. I tend to really make the brightness a little bit more bright. I tend to like uh, sometimes a little bit more contrast. Okay. And then you could also remove some of the saturation and make it a little less red. Give it a more natural look or a more vibrant look. And the brightness as well. And you can play around with some of these other things like the warmth you know, makes it a little bit brighter. Um, and you can change some of the other things here. Okay. So if you don't like anything that you did, you simply hit reset and it goes back to what the original settings were. I kind of like how this looks. And as you can see, it did the entire picture. I just cropped out my arms uh, on this, but it did the entire picture. Okay, so that's pretty much it, how you do it. And then you can take it and put text wherever you like and make your image or make your design uh, wonderful. So that's it. Um, I'd love to hear how this turns out for you guys. Um, but that's it for me. That's how you turn your paintings into artwork. I mean, your photos into paintings, artwork. You know what I mean. All right, see you guys later. <laughs>